Hello internet people, my name is Robert and I'll show you how to make in Elementor this mobile app looking footer menu with icons. You can see it's stuck to the bottom of the screen here and when you click on the phone icon it will prompt you to actually call that phone number or if I tap on the email icon it also asks to what are we going to use to send this email or even link to a specific section on your page. So if I tap on it you see it scrolls to a certain uh, section. And the best part is that I will provide a free template to do this in Elementor and Elementor Pro. So let's get started. Head to this web page or then just click on the first link in the description of this video. And you land on this page and this is basically a page where you can download the free template. If you want the mobile icon menu to be more interactive, you can buy this template. It comes with three different variations, so you can pick your favorite. This is perfect for one page websites as it recognizes the section you are in and reveals the text as you scroll. It just looks super smooth. So just click on download free template and it should start downloading your zip file like this. So now we can open that up and then just let's extract it. I'm going to extract all. Yes. And now what we should see is a JSON file. So make sure it's a JSON file and that way you got the right file. So once you have the file, just head to your WordPress. If you have Elementor Pro, then I advise you to place this in your footer. That way it will show up on all the pages of your website. Then just go to templates and theme builder. And here you would just add new and you would add it as a footer. The rest steps are the same, except that you need to select uh, where this footer shows up. You just select all pages and it works the same way as any header or footer. Now for the rest of you or most of you, if you don't have Elementor Pro, then you just head to your any of your Elementor pages or the page you want to add this menu icon to. And here, scroll down, you have this icon here at the bottom, add template. And now inside my templates, we can upload more stuff. So here, import template. If I click on it, I can now select a file. And in my case, I just need to go inside here. And this is the file again, JSON file, and it's called mobile icon footer menu default. So let's click on open. And now it imported it. And now you see that I already play around with it. I have multiple of these. So here from today, I can insert it now. And you have your icon menu here. And now we can just start updating this. So first of all, this one has already a link that is actually, if you click on this on mobile device, it will call this number. And you can achieve this by uh, adding this TEL colon in front of the phone number. And then as soon as somebody taps on it, it will prompt them to call this number. And I mean, you don't need to stick to this telephone number. You can just use a normal link as well. Just change the icon and you're good to go. Same thing for email. I have already prepared here with the email. If you click on it, you see I have this mail to colon and then the email address. If somebody clicks on this, it will just open up their email client and they can just email you directly. You can also have the normal link. So here you have a link to a Google Maps. And the last one I have here, hashtag training. And this is just to show you that you can also add anchor links. If you don't know what anchor links are, they're just simply, uh, let's say I want to, let's go to the reviews and then under advanced. So I've selected the reviews uh, section. And then if I come here, you see we have the CSS ID reviews. Okay. I can now come here to appointments. I know it doesn't match right now, but, and if you give the hashtag reviews, update it and then preview the changes once you click on this it will actually scroll to this part of the page okay if i click on appointment you see it scrolls to the bottom or not to the bottom but to this section that we uh, tagged as reviews and this is how you can anchor link to any section of the page now if we go back obviously you might want to change the icons that's quite simple you just click on the icon here and then you can change the icon to anything else so let's say you want to have WhatsApp, you can also select it from here, insert, and then you can call it something different. Now, in case you want to add more icons, that's okay. But just here, right click on this one and duplicate the icon. Right now, this is just designed for about five icons. So don't do go over more than that. 
but you should duplicate them because these have certain settings and it, it might not work if you just add a new icon to this one. But I don't need it. I'm going to delete it. And let's see, you have this HTML block here. It's very important actually. This is some custom code here. So don't delete that. Keep it there. That's part of the template. For example, what if you want to change the color of this uh, banner? Well, that's quite simple. We go into the section and here in style, we can give it another color. Right now it's just white, but I could change it to something else. Let's pick something. Let's see what colors I already have. Orange. All right. So let's pick this orange. And now what we could do is go inside of each of the elements or each of the icons and change the colors there. So again, icon box, style, under icon, it's now black. I'll make it white. And same thing for the for the content here. I just change it to like this. And now you have the reverse colors. And the rest works pretty much the same as in any other Elementor block. Now that you have a mobile footer menu, clients can easily contact you. But without a professional looking website, you might be perceived a bit of a, a, like an amateur and you won't be able to charge as much. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn how to make your website 10 times more professional.